social media, and education. In this video, you'll learn about the directions for the assignment and creating social media posts on your PLN site. Hey there! Now that you have learned how to create your professional learning network and enhance it with the use of social media, we're going to segue into the actual social media and education assignment. I have tied all three of these together this week because you've learned how to use Google Sites and you've created the bones of your course portfolio. Now you have created your professional learning network page on your portfolio. You've gone through all the requirements of that assignment. And in this one, you're going to add to that PLN page while you explore actual social media platforms. So the first thing you're going to want to do is look in here at the resources for social media and education. Um, there are several articles at the top. It's really important that you read over those to get an idea from other experts what social media can actually do for you in your classroom. And then you'll have your assignment resources down here. There is a scoring checklist, which we're about to look at, and also an example of how you need to format it. So if you click on social media scoring checklist, you will see this. Here are the requirements and what you need to do for this assignment. Um, you are required to follow five pages uh, on Twitter. I have lined all those out in this accompanying document right here. So follow the required accounts on Twitter and then pick at least five other education related accounts and follow those also. So you should be following a minimum of 10 people on Twitter. Um, this list right here provides you not only the required, but a ginormous list of options. So let's look at that right here. This is the recommendations. Um, I do want to say that I'm not personally endorsing any of these pages or people and any of their posts, but they are people I've come across in my PLN and that I um, have gotten something from. So. You can follow me if you'd like at Wit Civils. You're not required to though. You do need to follow all of these accounts right here. This is your Google for Educator group of Louisiana. This is your Louisiana Department of Education. This is Louisiana Tech University. Um, they put out a lot of great information through Twitter, so I want you to follow them. Here is our College of Education page on Twitter and then also the Technology Hub. We are working on building this Twitter page up and um, would love some engagement from you all to help on that. So these are the required accounts that you must follow. And here are options outside of that. These are some of my personal favorites. You'll see um, George's quote uh, about technology in the hands of the teachers being transformational. He um, he wrote that quote that's on the front page of my Moodle, uh, Moodle page for this course. Here are some other favorites of mine, and I've included some Louisiana-specific pages you may be interested in. I think most uh, pre-service educators here at Tech are required to join A plus PEL Apple. Here is their Twitter page. Here's an ed chat. Dream Teachers is also Louisiana, the Louisiana Federation of Teachers, and the Louisiana Association of Teachers of Math. I saw there wasn't a lot of traffic on there, but maybe if you'll follow them, they'll follow you back and you can start adding to it. Uh, here's some ed tech pages that I recommend. Here's just general education, special ed, critical and diverse perspectives for diversity, um, education reporters and news, Ag Ed, English, Social Studies, Math, Science, and then it's Elementary, Middle, High School, Leadership, and Gender and Education, and then Tom Wibley, he actually founded uh, EdChat, hashtag EdChat. Here's a list of people he follows too. So you don't have to follow any of these that are in the recommendations. You're welcome to find anybody you want. Just make sure you follow at least five pages of um, educator or educational organization pages on Twitter. When I go to check 
for completion of this assignment, I will check and make sure you have followed the minimum of 10. And then just like y'all created the posts on your PLN page for your professional learning networking experiences um, with the EdWeb, the podcast, the blog, and Edutopia, you're going to create two more posts on the exact same page. Uh, they follow the same post format. So your first PLN post for social media will be one post about Twitter specifically. Give us a brief overview of the social media tool. Tell me three things you learned about using Twitter and education. And tell me how you can use Twitter to increase your PLN. Your second post on your PLN website page and your portfolio will be about any other type of social media platform you like. I listed a bunch of popular ones in the PLN, excuse me, in the social media lecture. You're welcome to look at those, um, but any platform you'd like that is used to share information with others. Give us an overview of that tool. Tell me three things about, three things you learned about using that tool for education and tell me how you plan on using that tool to increase your PLN. And then you'll get your portfolio component uh, because you will post two separate posts on that PLN portfolio page. So by the time you've finished your PLN assignment and your social media assignment, you will have seven total posts on that PLN page. And that's all. As always, let me know what questions you have.